In this movie we will discuss zooming and panning in AutoCAD and how to achieve these common tasks in TurboCAD. A common procedure in AutoCAD is to physically type in the word zoom followed by either clicking or typing in the extents option. Similar functionality can be found in TurboCAD by clicking the readily available buttons on the standard toolbar. Once the drawing is open in TurboCAD, you can switch to the model space. On the standard toolbar, we see several buttons dedicated to the zoom functionality. Specifically, the Zoom to Extents button with the keyboard shortcut control backspace will provide similar functionality to that illustrated in AutoCAD. It is easy to zoom in and out to specific areas of the drawing by firstly moving the cursor to a point of interest and then rolling the wheel mouse back and forth. Switching back to AutoCAD we can see there is similar functionality where you position the mouse at the point of interest and roll your wheel mouse forward and back. Once you are in a sufficient zoom magnification it is possible to pan around the drawing by clicking and holding the wheel mouse button and then dragging to adjust the view. The default TurboCAD interface, however, is set up to invoke the 3D examine mode by clicking and holding the wheel mouse. This is often confusing to AutoCAD users who are familiar with the dragging of the mouse button in order to pan. New users who are unfamiliar with this examine tool also think that the drawing has been corrupted and it is now at an angle. In order to return it to the top view, you can simply right click and choose the world plan option. It is possible to customize the TurboCAD interface so that the familiar pan operation is used instead. So in TurboCAD you can click the customize controls option to open the customize dialog then click the Options tab and then choose Additional Device Setup. This is where you can control how the wheel mouse functions. Clicking the drop down list and choosing the Hold option, you can see that this particular operation is currently associated with the Dynamic Examine functionality. So, in order to change this functionality, you can select the Dynamic Pan command and then click the Assign button so that in future holding the wheel mouse down will invoke the panning functionality. You can see in the dialog that the Hold option is now assigned to panning. In order to not lose the examine functionality we will switch it to the Control Shift Hold option and assign that to now be Dynamic Examine, thereby switching these two operations around. It is a good idea to save your changes to the custom interface so that if for some reason you need to reload the interface your changes will be easily recovered. In this case we will use the name My Interface and then we can subsequently click the Load From drop down list and select our saved interface and then click the Load From button. Now when we return to the drawing we see that we can click and hold the wheel mouse whilst dragging to pan around the drawing. Other functionality that can be found in TurboCAD include the window zoom as well as zoom to selection.